We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Mary Kay Letourneau situation. So if you guys don't know, Mary Kay Letourneau was that teacher back in like 1996. She was 34 years old and she began having sex with her sixth grade student. OK, so this caused national outrage. Not only did she have sex with him, but she became pregnant by him not once, but twice. She bore two children by him and she ended up doing seven years in prison because she couldn't stay away from him. So anyways, once she got out of prison, they ended up getting married in 2005. And two years ago, she did an interview with Barbara Walters, her and Billy Falau. And they basically talked about their love and how they've been married for 10 years and how their daughters at that point, they were 17 and 18 years old, how, you know, they're just a regular all-American family. Well, fast forward two years after that damn interview, I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video clip really quick. Check this out. and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Typical teenagers wearing high school cheerleader outfits as they eat frozen yogurt and make funny faces at the camera. But these are the daughters of the nation's most notorious school teacher, the infamous Mary Kay Letourneau, whose shocking affair with her student, Billy Falau, began when he was in sixth grade. When the affair began, he was actually younger than his daughter's current age. If one of your daughters came to you and said, I'm sleeping with my teacher, what would you say? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. It would be, I think it would be the same reaction that um, any parent would have, you know, if their child came up and said, you know, I'm in, I'm in love with my teacher. What about if they said they were sleeping with anyone? Mm -hmm. I don't know really how to deal with it. Mary Kay is now so 53, big, Billy is 31, mm -hmm. and they're speaking out in an exclusive interview with Barbara Walters airing Friday night on ABC's 2020. Believe it or not, they're about to celebrate their 10th wedding anniversary. I don't know if enough time will ever pass where it will take away what the media did to our story, because it was so big and they ran with it so fast. There is a story of us that has a life of its own, but it's not our story. Over the years, Inside Edition has followed the scandal as Mary Kay became pregnant with daughter Audrey and served seven years in prison for child rape. And we were there as Billy saw his second daughter, Georgia, for the first time after Mary Kay gave birth to her behind bars. Now look at the girls today. 17-year-old Audrey graduates from high school in June. 16-year-old Georgia is a sophomore and sings in the school choir. They actually go to school in the same Seattle district where their mom used to teach. And Barbara Walters says they're fully aware of their parents' notorious past. The kids say, well, yeah, oh, we know what happened. You do? You know, mommy and daddy? Really? Judging from the interview, the marriage has been rocky. Billy says he suffers from depression. We asked psychologist Dr. Jeff Gardier to watch the interview and what? give us his evaluation of one of America's <laughs> most scandalous couples. Reaction. This has been, it appears, their lifelong mission to show the world that it wasn't about a sex crime, that it was about legitimate feelings that they had. All right, so you guys just saw that video clip. So now, two years after they shot that with Barbara Walters, it's been announced today that the husband and the former student of Mary Kay Letourneau has officially filed for separation. He wants a divorce from her old ass, okay? She is now in her 50s and Billy is now 33 years old. And the crazy thing is that Billy is a year younger than what Mary Kay Letourneau was when she started screwing with him when he was in the sixth grade. I, you know, to this day, I see people trying to defend this relationship and say, you know, love comes in all strange forms. Screw that mess. I have a kid that's about to be in the sixth grade, and if some 34-year-old teacher who's damn near my age starts screwing my son, I'm whooping her ass, point blank, period. There was nothing cute about this. This young boy was groomed from a young age from the time he was 12 years old. She literally groomed him. 
All he's known is Mary Kay Letourneau. And you can tell in that full interview that he did with Barbara, you could tell that the man was just putting on a facade. He even said that he's been through a lot. He's been depressed. You know, and think about it. When he was in junior high, high school, college, what girls would really want to mess with him? Because it's like you were screwing a 34-year-old teacher. How can I, as a 16-year-old girl, compete? You know what I'm saying? With a grown-ass woman. I mean, that whole situation was crazy. I really feel like Mary Kay Letourneau stole this man's childhood. You know, good for him for finally waking up and saying he wants to be divorced and he wants to separate himself from her. This broad is crazy and she has tried to normalize pedophilia and she's tried to normalize her behavior. Me being a mother of boys, I can never stand behind Mary Kay Letourneau. This is just sickening to me. You know, and then the way she did her other four children that she had with her husband, she literally just stopped dealing with those children altogether and is really owning the lives of the two children that she has with Billy. This woman was obsessed with Billy Falau. You know, so this whole situation is crazy, but I bet you anything, it's not going to stop this freak. Her ass will probably be back in jail in a few years from now for messing with another 11, 12, 13-year-old boy. This woman has issues, and I love the fact that when Barbara Walter asked them, well, what if your daughters were sleeping with their teacher, how they both seemed, you know, uncomfortable and disgusted. Meanwhile, she had no problem sleeping with a student, and he had no problem sleeping with his teacher. This whole situation is crazy, but at the end of the day, to me, Billy Falau was a victim, and this woman groomed and manipulated him, and I'm glad that he's finally woken up. And part of me feels like he was being petty and he wanted to wait until their youngest daughter turned 18. So that way he doesn't have to be stuck paying any type of child support or having any ties to her. So kudos to you, Billy, for being kind of petty and waiting until your youngest daughter turned 18 so you wouldn't have to pay no damn child support. We see you, boo. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. This entire situation, like I said, has never sat well with me. It's just creepy, weird, and I don't get it, but, you know, whatever. I'm just glad that he's finally waking up and he's moving on and he wants to, you know, try something new and try to get back some type of normalcy in his life. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this entire situation with Billy Falau filing for a divorce from Mary Kay Letourneau. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.